This looks a little bit different than the last time I was here. A little bit, a little bit. Is that Mike? Wow. Is that Mike? Is that Mike? Is that William? Is it me? I don't know. Who? Wow, I'm just like, there's too much stuff going on. What's up, buddy? Oh, what's up, Joel? How's it going, man? How's it going? Hey, what's up? Jimmy. Wow. Someone pat him down. I already like I already like what I see. Security check. <laughs> Security check. Wow, how'd you do that glow, man? You got a, you have a lot to teach me. You have a lot to teach me. <laughs> he tried to take me. I was like, you know I'm employed by somebody, right? I'm, my, I'm property of someone. Can we share him? I'm property of someone. No. I'm, I'm, I'm sure, sure that's I'm sure that's competitive, right? Yeah. Wow. Now watch this. Great you know, This is ridiculous, Corey. Once I skate them. This is ridiculous. I don't even... I could have rushed it together, but I gotta make all the videos from skating them, so I couldn't like, like, rush through it. Like trying to piece together where this was. I thought this was in there. Mm. This, dude. That is, that is insane. I, I really need to... Mike, do you like it? I really need to step my game up. Oh my. We have more subscribers. I thought, I thought when I come down to your house, it's going to trouble me. It's going to be. Wow. This cake really is. This thing's massive. And then, oh, there's the aqua pros. Oh, oh yeah. that's the. <laughs> get, hey, get out of my for. clip here. Get out that's of my what clip. That's I came in here for. Wait, flight. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right, so last night when I was filming the whole studio, I didn't have my camera on when I went to go look at the 800 gallon for the first time. So I'm going to now try and recreate my initial experience to the 800 gallon, uh, and Rob's gonna be here too. Oh man. <sighs> okay. Wait till you guys see this. Rob, you ready? Yeah. Let's go check it out. Seriously, the 800 gallon. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Wait, one more minute. The 800 gallon like videos will not do it justice. You just cannot fit an 800 gallon in a screen to be like, oh my gosh, it's that big. Without further ado. This was, this was my initial reaction. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? It's huge. It's so much bigger than I thought it was. Can we put Rob's <laughs> biceps next to it and get a measure? No, we, we need to put your cap. Wow. <laughs> All right, that, that, that was horrible. Um, <laughs> I, can't, I can't fake it. It's, it's a huge tank. Basically, I mean, I've seen it a bunch of times. I've never seen it in person. Corey, uh, Jimmy swims in this thing, right? Yeah. It's pretty amazing. Jimmy and thing. Corey can swim in this at the same time. I'm gonna do this move like, where you get him to move. Of course, they're following Jimmy now because he is just there. Wow. He doesn't follow the old body anymore. The whore. They're, they're waiting for whore. food. <laughs> yeah, but hey, what are you feeding your archer fish? Uh, the best thing they like the most. It sounds weird. It's Akari floating pellets. Wow, really? Over frozen, over krill, over, you know. The one thing I, I want to drop the water level down a bit, like they're ready to eat, obviously. Drop the water level down a bit, get extensive branch work, and feed them off to crickets because it's super cool to watch them yeah. shoot it down. But I offer them a lot of things. They'll eat some bloodworms, but it's hard for them to get the bloodworms with the mass of tiger barbs. Uh, so the bigger Akari pellets they love to get off the top. And, uh,. Yeah, it's just a good time. I mean, I could feed it, I'll do a little feeding real quick right here. Yeah. So I, I don't have a lot of luck with feeding my archer fish anything besides frozen krill, like some big, like big yeah. food. I, I don't know, obviously, like the krill. live crickets is the best thing and it's the most fun thing to feed them, but I'm, I'm trying to get like some reptile food going. Yeah. You know, like some big grasshoppers. I think, Zo I mean, ZooMed makes grasshoppers. Yeah. I haven't tried get. it yet, but yeah. Cause I like all the clown loach and stuff to feed off the top because it sounds like koi eating and it gets them to come up. And there's lots of big catfish and stuff under the logs that come out later when we feed different types of foods. But for the floating foods, it's the only way I can really keep, I gotta have a big enough pellet to keep it out of the mouths of the tiger barbs and uh, let the archers get something to eat. Otherwise, they don't get to eat. Yeah, those, those loaches are super aggressive up there. Yeah. It's crazy. And the tiger barbs will just swarm. They just kind of carry them around like basketballs and fight over them, <laughs> you know, because they can't get them. Yeah, in their they mouth. can't. Build. And then eventually, like an archer goes, "I'll take that." Yep. You yeah. know. And so you got to kind of feed in stages. We up here, we got the auto feeder feeds once a day. This is all small pellet with a custom feeding hole. 
And then we've got cutouts to feed full sheets of like 16 ounce blood worms and that kind of stuff to the the tank. But it, you got to feed in stages, otherwise a tank like this, this many fish, not everything gets to eat. I think the biggest thing you don't pick up on camera is the, is the depth of the tank. Yeah, the four feet this way. Yeah, you, you yeah, just, you can you see, see like it. big loaches coming out from under the log, and there's a couple big catfish in there, and a bunch of exotic plecos, but they don't like the light, so you know. Yeah, and this is their favorite. When you first put them in the tank, I remember oh, they watching them all running right over there. Back. Yeah, yeah. Now they loved it. Buddy. Oh yeah, here there comes is. the giraffe cat. Yeah, the giraffe cat. It's going. Hey, there's food out here. That guy's so wild. He'll get about three feet and be a big lunker. Watch we'll take a lot of the rocks and the wood out when he grows to get bigger. Um, but I absolutely love him. There's another smaller one right behind coming out. Uh, the smaller giraffe cat. It's on this side of the wood. If you want to see a little baby, that oh, one's yeah. that one's named Luann. Nice name. Another King of the Hill character, <laughs> you know. But I got the uh, the big one came from uh, a customer at the store. We always will take fish back that we sell, and he said, "Well, once it gets too big for my tanks, would you be interested?" And I knew I was getting a big tank, so I was like, yeah, I would take it off your hands. And he just wanted to grow one to about a foot or so, and then I took it. Yeah, so you have river rock. Yep, in lots here, of river rock. And yeah. you have the, the faux wood. Yep, yep, this is a seven foot long piece. Because I didn't want it to be uh, the wood breaking down and that type of thing. With And it's not easy to find seven foot long pieces, so I went with the fake one. And fish can hide underneath it, which is kind of cool. Also, it's kind of lame when you're like, oh, I really want to see them. Um, but we'll rock this for a year or so and then we'll get in there and you know literally get in mm -hmm. and change it up You know, yeah. we don't want to get in there all the time, but well, you definitely don't want to have to do huge tannin drains Yeah, that was I mean, we change a lot of water because it's all auto water change And if you come over here, you can kind of see the system. I've got a bucket in the way right now um, But this is you know this we we swap this out all the time This is fish poop from all the the filters. We've got an above tank sump up there and then we also have it coming down to this 275 gallon stock tank that cleans more and it shares with a turtle. So the overall system's about 1,100 gallons or so. Wow. Uh, and then right here we've got a pond filter. Let me move this ladder out of the way. It takes 40 inches tall, so you have to have a ladder to get up on there. Yeah. But this is a pond filter. This is the pre-filter. So there's an FX6 under the tank. Okay. And the water first comes into here. This has a 36 watt UV sterilizer and you can back flush it. So if I turn this, water starts flowing out of the tank, back flush clean this, and this right here goes up and down and cleans all the sponges in there. Ooh, just noticed, baby reticulated hillstream loaches bred in Ooh, the tank. Ooh, I, I didn't know that. So the rocks are working. Hey, People ask, is... like, why the rocks? Because loaches breed in these rocks. So on that piece of wood, we're right under that rock our baby reticulated hillstream loaches, so oh, the dream's hey. coming alive. You guys saw it first. I didn't even know that was happening. I don't know There's if I only got one. Camera, yeah, it's really small. It's right there on that under that rock. It's moving. Oh, there, oh, it, is. there it is. Yeah, wow, so the that's first great. one. That's awesome. That yeah, it's a baby really little <laughs> reticulated hillstream loach. But So loaches yeah, in cool. general are known for spawning in rocks. You need, because people are worried, all the waste drops in the rocks, but that's where loaches lay their eggs and then the fry can grow up because if they don't have a place to hide they just get eaten so they need that fish poop to live off of yeah well and especially, so especially it's working. Tank. that's great yeah. man that's awesome so that's i'm super pumped for that that's it man i don't even get to make that video now i'll never see that little thing again i'll be like let's wait jimmy no it's in that rock pile we'll never see it again baby fish for the wind so it's totally working i'm super pumped about that uh, we got live plants, and I've got the auto doser going with dose my, you know, my Easy Green. But you could dose any fertilizer, and it doses that every day. We water change every day, um, and there's lots of particulate matter in here. And no matter what I've done, I've got you know two things doing fine filters. I can do 400 gallon water changes every day for weeks on end. There's just so many fish that I can't get it crystal, crystal, crystal clear. And when I talk to people that manage public. Uh, aquariums and zoos and they're like it's really really difficult to get it crystal clear on camera it looks okay-ish in person it drives me nuts because i want it to be like you don't even know water's in there but yeah. i've never been able to get it to that yet and i think i just have to lighten the fish load and remove fish so i don't have to feed so many different types of food yeah. to get them to eat yeah well i mean this is the test honestly like it looks pretty it's pretty clear I mean, so you come to the side and you look all the way through all eight feet of it. Yeah, that's eight feet you're seeing to the other side. And that's the thing is, to me, I just strive for perfection. So it's one of those like, oh, I could do better somehow, but I haven't found out how to do it. But 
In my opinion, this tank just became the ultimate win because when a tank is producing baby fish on their own, my mission is accomplished. That means I set up the environment right, that at least something's replicating in there and making it. And this is as close to a river or something like that I can make. There's predators in the tank, all kinds of things that would eat those babies, but we've made the right hides. So I'm super pumped. Yeah, this is a, this is a super impressive tank. Yeah. Don't forget, we're powering it by Fluval. Hashtag free plug. <laughs> they did provide the uh, three lights that are on this tank. Um, so I'm thankful to that. Yeah, what are you using up here? Are you using the 2.0s? I'm using the Fluval 2.0s. I used three of them, two, and then one in the back. And it's crazy to me. I didn't realize how powerful they were, but even with a par meter at 40 inches deep, I'm still getting 15 par. So at 40, wow. you know, most tanks, you could stack like two 55s on top, and that's what makes this. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, if you've got one 55, you're gonna get quite a bit of light going on them. Yeah, so I love them. I mean, yeah. 50 par at the substrate, I think, is is a highlight scenario. Yeah, for most so I get game, 15 so. here, but you're gonna get a lot, like on a 55 or 40 beer, and yeah. I, because I thought I was gonna have to run six of those, and I'm only running three. Plants are growing well, you know, the valves up to the top of the tank, like I liked it. Mm -hmm. And right now, there's not a lot of movement, but uh, this gyre pump will kick on, and it moves something like 8,000 gallons per hour, and the whole tank will start moving, and all the tiger barbs and clown loaches uh, will start swimming against it. And if you guys don't know, at least the clown loaches and the tiger barbs are a biotope, they swim together. And so it brings the clown loaches up, they'll just school right along with the, the tiger barbs. Otherwise they just hide out. So people go, oh, it's a lot of stripes. And it's like, well, yeah, it is, but it really lends to their behavior and makes it a fun tank. And so that's why we did it. And we'll change it eventually. You know, like people are always like, aren't you gonna get bored of that? Like the day I get bored, it's the day we'll change it. You know, like <laughs> exactly. it's, it's hard to catch fish obviously, but you know, you do it for a year, then we go, okay, let's do a big redo, you know, so for sure. enjoying it for, for now. Sure. Yeah, and your substrate's a, a good color, you know? Yeah. It, it hides stuff well. It's it's not too white, but it gives you that Well, I want a little contrast. bit of crushed coral in there because our water is super acidic and we're putting right. tons of foods in, so I've changed a lot of water, but if I don't, that pH will come crashing down if I'm not careful. Mm, true. So, had to put some crushed coral in there and, uh, yeah. Allergy's starting to recede. I was getting a lot of allergy. I went out of town. Well, I, was, I forget why oh, I was out of town lately, but I was out of town, had a lot of allergy on the plants because no one was dosing fertilizers. Now that we got an auto doser, the allergy's receding and uh, starting to come back nice and lush and green, so that's good. It's looking great, man. Thank so you. we could probably talk about this tank for forever. Yeah. Uh, can, can we go and check out some of the tanks? Sure, yeah. Out here in the in the studio? Yeah. Just real quick, Jimmy's doing some work. Yeah, Jimmy's getting ready for the live stream. So you got a couple, yeah, I mean you have four 125s here? Yep, yep. So right. this one's got Ladybird, another King of the Hill character, my baby Mabu Puffer.